way. Clear the street. Sergeant Garcia. That is my neighbor, Nacho Torres. Why is he being brought in? Quien sabe, Don Diego. The Comandante ordered his arrest. One moment. Why have you taken this man prisoner? Help me, Senor Alcalde. I am innocent. What are the charges against you, Don Nacho? They accuse me of treason, but it is a lie. I dare to speak out against injustice. It is forbidden to speak to this prisoner. Take him inside and lock him up. I must protest, Capitan. This man is no criminal. Senor Alcalde, this case is not a civil matter. The crime of treason comes under military jurisdiction. Are you Diego de la Vega? At your service, Comandante. Capitan Enrique Sanchez Monastario. I'm sorry to inconvenience you. No, Comandante. As a matter of fact, it gave me the opportunity to finish this last chapter, the effects of Moorish culture on Spanish poetry. Have you read it? No, I have not. Oh, then I must lend it to you when I have finished. Thank you. Some other time. Would you please make yourself comfortable in my quarters? I shall not detain you long. <laughs> Did he say why he has returned? I shall find out. But certainly we have nothing to fear from that fastidious senderito. Get back to the inn. We shall not be seen together. What are you doing up there? You! Come down here! I'll teach you to spy on me. Come down, I say! Your pardon, what are you doing here? Capitan, Speak! Your pardon. But this man, he cannot answer you. He is deaf and dumb. Who is he? Uh, Don Diego's servant. He brought him from Spain. Are you certain he cannot hear? Oh, positive. He... Watch this. You have the face of a donkey. <laughs> you, you smell like a goat. <laughs> your father... <laughs> your father was a baboon. <laughs> Get on with the inspection, Sergeant. And make sure to inspect carefully. I know you were anxious to be on your way home. Yes, it's been a most fatiguing day. Please fill out this brief declaration, if you don't mind. Your return is rather unexpected, is it not? Your father gave the impression that you would be at the university another year. Well, I decided to forego it. There was an overemphasis on gymnastics, swordsmanship. You know there were even duels among some of the students? Really? Yes. Ooh, how does Toledo Rage sings? A thousand pardons, Don Diego. Your father would never forgive me if anything happened to you. Sergeant Garcia begs to report that the inspection is complete, mi Capitan. Good. I trust you found no contraband. Every trunk and bag seemed full of books. Heavy hey. ones. What do you want me to do with this, Capitan? Hang it in my quarters, stupid one. Oh! oh. Baboso! Oh. Hey. Put it away! Well, I really must be going, Comandante. It's been very nice. Gracias, Senor de Vega. Welcome home, Don Diego. Juan, it's good to see you. Is this Pepito? How is my father? Have you taken good care of him? We have tried, Don Diego. <laughs> Uh, Juan, this is Bernardo. He cannot speak nor hear, but he would die for me if necessary. Show him where my room is. See, Patron. Father. My son. It fills my heart to see you again. I send a boy to Spain, and the man returns. Diego, I have many things to tell you, but they can wait until you have changed and we have had supper. Come. Your own room is waiting for you. 
vaqueros used to sing this as they rode home from work. You know, this piano needs tuning. Are you not interested at all in what I have been telling you? Extremely so, Father. I'm sorry to find the situation so unpleasant. Unpleasant? It is intolerable. The rancheros are being taxed out of existence. Those who cannot pay are flogged and thrown into prison. The Indians are torn from their families and forced into slave labor. All for the benefit of one man, Capitan Monastario. I've met the gentleman. Gentleman? He is a black-hearted scoundrel. If he remains in power, our country faces ruin. We must get rid of him, Diego. That's why I've called you home. Someone must do something. You're right, Father. I'm going to sit down and write a detailed letter of complaint to the governor. It would never reach him. Monastario's guards intercept all mail at the Monterey. Our neighbor, Nacho Torres, dared to protest, and this morning he was arrested for treason. Well, have you, have you appealed to the civil authorities? Certainly we have rights under the law. Monastario is the law. He brought in a crooked lawyer from Mexico City to make his crimes appear legal. Then I fail to see what we can do. We can stand up to him, fight him. Calm yourself, Father. The use of force should be our last resort. I hardly expected such, such discretion from a son of mine. You are tired, my boy. Go to your room and sleep on it. We shall discuss it tomorrow. With your permission. And now that I've just had to do something I'm not very proud of, I've convinced my father that I'm a spineless weakling. But if I were to take open action as he wants to do, his life would be in danger. Now I'm free to act alone. You remember what I said this morning? If you're gonna clothe yourself in the skin of the lion, put on that of the fox. Well, from now on, I shall be Zorro, the fox. <laughs> I brought you out here to meet a third member, and a lie. 